Up ahead, looks like a way out. Wait.
place. Stay alert. Follow my lead. Copy. Take it from here. missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. You better keep me safe. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't.
like to say a few words to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako, all to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Subjects. Look. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. 
Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. building in town, and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. And even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? But if he's sick, we need our help. Then, a little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue.
excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer in life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L 77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. M-E-G-L 913-1977. Genova Project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. We got Genova, a locked reactor door, the name of Sephiroth's mother, and ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gast. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, 
at least. What? Need your help. Watch out! Uh, you have to leave. Uh, you have 
have to live. Hey, hey, hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry, I got you. Come on, let's get you up. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth. Wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs>
come for you. Now open the way for me. You murdered my dad. You burned my village. who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. 
to know about alive so much as around. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering... What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me.
killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? 
In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. We could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. To fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood?
This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction, caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Good morning, Dono released sir. a statement. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction, caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement, declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare, perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai, and has begun investigations into the matter. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. It's got a backbone. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. 
multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction. Look who it is. You up already? Drink it already? Uh, no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till 7th Heaven's back up and running. First one's on me, okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. Gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case.
massive tornado which swept through sectors. Welcome! New around here, I take it? Welcome. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. See, what I tell you, that girl is singing and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. You take care of that weapon now.
Who are those avalanche assholes? Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Judging from that outfit, the manager is really into planetology. Hey there! Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. That's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Oh, back for more? Thanks for stopping by.
to take the last uh, Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Too careful with Shinra. Good boy. Someone has to be. Next time, it might even be you. The Mako outflow from Midgar has stirred up the monster pop. Midgar is under lockdown. Yeah. Especially dangerous. You're telling me seven plates? Hey, Dad, have you heard of Pink's Blood?
youngest of my sons. His name's Akira. In case I have to mention, he's developed quite a following in Walmart. Hey, Then, shall we? Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted.
reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. Door with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. History with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going.
Now, let's move! Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Look at it all. It's so green. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. We won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are!
monstrosity is, don't you? It's a pipeline. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. <laughs> you call it a pipeline, but I call it a farm. Should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Thieves, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if humans can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can.
magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original.
You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there.
Sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Phil the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> <laughs>
to it. My favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need him to get through the swamplands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. 
He'll help you out. Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> that kind of money or any really hmm well there is one other option only cost you a grand uh. is what a scoundrel might say but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day wild thing but still a fine chocobo 
If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is he's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgard? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. doesn't give you all too much trouble. Welcome, folks! Thank you for stopping by.
All right, Pico. Where'd you run off? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Just the cutest? <laughs> uh. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> You know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. So much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's had his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him this. Ain't 
that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? I really can't thank you enough for bringing Pico back to us. If you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Nope. Really? Not at all? It seems I didn't make as strong an impression as I thought. Silly me. Well, allow me to refresh your memory. My name's Chadley. I was the one researching Materia in Midgar. We first met in the Sector 7 Undercity, where I asked you to provide me with battle intel. Though brief, we had multiple interactions, through which we got to know each other. How was that? Ring any bells, perhaps? Yeah. Great! What a relief! Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Juna, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Here we are. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. 
I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further they scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please act. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often do you happen to have any questions about. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless. That's the combat simulator or my combat simulator. As Shinra develops, and fret not, it will never be up. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemies. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends. In fact, after pouring over stories from the grass, I have finished implementing a new one. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also what I ultimately produce, however, is I look forward to finding out what we can create. Do you happen to have any questions about World In? Which particular task would you like to? Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant. But to us, they are a veritable. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you if you still have questions about what. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, some I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures if you still have questions about In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have filled the knowledge contained within them is one subject is of particular interest to me. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus I can use it to enhance our material. If you still have questions about world int Ah, yes, I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient- But until we investigate, there's- And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of- <laughs> A rather endearing name. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately rec- If you still have questions about- Do you happen to have any- In that case, I see- With no your activation of this tower, my analysis of the- Though hardly substantial, it isn't- Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Cloud. I have recreated Titan. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia.
Needless to say, many hazards... Await you on the road. So take care. Perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. 
We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal.